top of the morning to you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Star Citizen video. This one is going to be, you know, there's a couple inside Star Citizens that I'm a little behind on. Um, the one that we're going to be watching today is the illicit delivery. And then tomorrow we'll be looking at the nine lives. I thought it said nine tails. Nine lives. Okay, so nine lives video. But uh, before we get into it, there's a video that was posted on Discord by good old Artful. Um, it says, we need KGH to react to this. I have no idea. It says it's Mr. Bean goes clubbing in Star Citizen. Now, I love Mr. Bean. <laughs> and I love Star Citizen. And, I hope, and it looks like it's at the good old uh, Wally's Bar, which I love that place too. So we'll take a look at it. I do, I look a little red. I'm, I'm very sunburnt. Now the camera's gone. Fuzzy. Which just this is it now. This is the rest. It's just, it's going to be blurry. Mm. But it's gone! Okay. Uh, look at this. Are you ready? You ready for this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. I did put sunblock on before anyone yells at me. But it was just a little too late. So I'm a little burned. Anyway, let's jump into this first video. Um, it's gonna be about the Mr. Bean one. And also, videos on the channel, it's been all over the place recently, and I apologize so much. I'm all over the place recently. Um, I just try, you know, putting things out that I'm enjoying at the time, see if any of it sticks, see if anyone's interested in it. Um, I do like reaction videos, as you guys know. We did a few reaction videos a couple days ago. I have a few more that I've recorded that I'd still, I don't know if I want to post them or not. I don't know. I still, I probably will still post them. Um, but I want to do more funny ones, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to react to things that are depressing, or not funny, or, you know, political, or things like that. I, in my channel, I like to have comedy in it, and I feel like, you know, I need some more uplifting, funnier videos. Um, so I'll be looking to do some of that stuff this week, but, you know, just bear with me. It's trial and error on my part, and, um, we'll just see if anyone enjoys them. But anyway, let's find this Mr. Beast video. Mr. Beast? Mr. Bean. Okay, here we go. YouTube Green Screen Gamer made this video. I haven't seen it yet. I have not watched it yet. But we're going to watch it here together. I don't know. I know it's Mr. Bean Goes Clubbing in Star Citizen. That's as far as I know. So let's just see what it's all about. Good old Wally's Bar. Gotta love that. Hopefully this song isn't copyright, please. <laughs> Is it too loud? <laughs> oh, for what is this? Dude, I love Mr. Bean. Very well done. First of all, like I love... <laughs> it's very well done. It's very well done. They obviously had the vision in their head before they went into this to do it. And it, it's, yeah, it's, it's very well done. I like it. I love Mr. Bean, man. I mean, this is how I dance in real life. So it's kind of makes me feel represented here. He's actually a better dancer than I am in real life. It's very well done. So... Yeah, it's very well done. I like that. That was good. Green screen gamer. Good job. Good job. All right. Anyway, let's jump into this Inside Star Citizen and uh, take a little look at it because I've missed both of these. I haven't seen them yet. So uh, let's see what they're all about. You know what? 
this is his latest one. I figured Mr. Bean's first day in Star Citizen. This guy knows what he's doing. He's got a Mr. Bean thing going on here. This is Mr. Bean's first day in Star I think We have to look at this too. We have to. So let's do it. They're so well done. They're so stupid, but they're so good. Oh, man. Okay. All right, now I promise we'll move on to Inside Star Citizen. We'll move on to Inside Star Citizen. Okay, here we go. Turn it down a little bit. Hey, I everybody. Like, I feel like I need to change my mic around again, too, because it seems like it doesn't have a filter on it when I scream anymore. What have I done? The upcoming 317.2 patch looks to bring with it a variety of new gameplay opportunities, bug fixes, and quality of life improvements. And one of the ways it aims to do that is to include important evolutions of mission systems you may already be familiar with. On this week's show, we're looking at two important expansions beginning with the addition of delivery missions specific to- Can I just say that hard hat looks like if I threw a ping pong ball at it, it would smash. Those unafraid of breaking the law. Currently in, uh, in Star Citizen, we have our uh, delivery missions that everyone knows. They're only for legal law-abiding citizens. We have no missions for someone who's on the wrong side of the law, someone who lives out of grim hacks. And in 317.2, we will rectify that by adding our illegal delivery. They used to. I didn't realize they got rid of it because they used to. They used to be illegal delivery missions. So it must have gone away for a few patches, but I don't really do deliveries that much anymore, so I wouldn't have noticed, but they used to. Free missions. And I would love to do delivery missions, by the way, if you get paid a lot. This is always my thing. I'm money hungry. The illegal delivery missions uh, in 317.2 are, uh, are going to function somewhat similarly to the legal ones, but they get run through a different organization. You will be running them through Redwind. You will have to build up your reputations with them. They will test your trust they will see that you're reliable by doing fairly legal things at the beginning and eventually they will give you one of these missions where you have to do something a bit dodgy and based on how you do that thing they will either open this career path for you or not i'm down to try some illegal delivery missions if it pays well it sounds there fun. will be some risks involved you will have to visit some really nefarious locations some drug labs some stashes where generally they're not populated by your lawful citizens so you might encounter some people doing similar missions that are not very favorable to other people doing them you might bump into them you might have to end up in a fight or maybe you join up on other adventures Dude, I need to find me a railgun, man. I feel like the railgun's gonna be important if I wanna do this. The other more more fixed um, risk factor is the chance of getting interdicted a lot more. So you will have to. I feel like I've just woke up from a coma and missed out a bunch of stuff. Cause I remember being interdicted and it was so like it would happen all the time and then it, they went for a while where it was nice <laughs> are they bringing it back again to make sure when you get interdicted you pretty much have to run for it if they find the drugs on you or whatever illegal things you're moving that will end up in you going to prison or in a fight or having to run for your life understandable and obviously, with the additional risk, there will come additional rewards that the legal side of the career delivery missions will not give you. 
What's the command? Tell looking me. ahead, uh, we're also looking to add different uh, sizes of parcels to delivers, including a small handheld items that the player can stash in their inventory and all kind of other items that whatever, whatever you can think of. Uh, this is open ended. We'll we'll find cool things to add in there, different uh, objects, different type of penalties if you get caught with them. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll make it fun. Obviously, this is not the end of delivery missions. We will keep exploring and find package for pickup, any order. So, it says any order. I'm pretty sure you have to pick it up before you can drop it off, right? <laughs> like, like going crazy. Oh, oh, it's because typically you would have multiple packages, and you could do any order. Okay. Um, no, I like this. I just wish the payout was more. I mean, four grand, especially for the elite. I used to do the illegal delivery missions like a year ago to make money, but they used to pay more than this back then even. It was double this. Sometimes it was like 16,000 UEC. So I don't know. I just feel like it needs to be more balanced as far as risk versus reward. And also time, effort, energy versus reward. I mean, this one's easy. This is, you pick up on yellow, you drop off on yellow. That's worth 4k to me. Yeah, that's fine. Um, anyway, I'm not going to complain about Finding it. Finding new to things it. to add will be making stuff interesting for everyone who is in this line of work in the universe. Whether they are on the legal or illegal side of things, we'll find something cool for them to move from point A to point B. These new missions from Redwind are only the first in a new initiative to add more gameplay opportunities to those who want to play outside of proper society's rules and look to make their debut in the upcoming Alpha 317 2. But up next, here's a phrase you may not have heard around here in some time. Service beacons, specifically combat assist service beacons. They've been due an upgrade for some time and they're about to get their next one. Let's find out more. With the current state of the combat service beacons, we like that it's content for players to go out and shoot a, a ship gun at something. Like, it's combat, and that's fun and engaging and interesting. We like the concept, but not its current execution. Service beacons are ways that players and NPCs can request assistance from the player or create missions for the players. We don't like that there's not a whole lot of variety in them. Uh, you generally are fighting kind of the same ships. I'd say one of the biggest problems is that there's no frame of reference to the player in terms of like what they're getting themselves into before they go. So the only indicator that the player has as to how difficult or challenging the mission's gonna be is what the mission's paying. So the more that it pays, the more difficult the mission will be. And if as a new player, you don't know that or know that scale, you don't have any concept of what you're getting yourself into. Yeah. What we are going to be doing is basically making it so that there are now 10 levels of difficulty for these combat service assist beacons. And when you go to accept them in your contract broker, you will be able to actually see that you are accepting anywhere from one That's to 10, good. depending on your reputation with like the that. organization running these service assist beacons. In this particular case, uh, difficulty one might be something as easy as go save this little relatively undamaged ship from an aurora or something. Pretty easy, pretty starter, something that you should be able to handle. As you do more of them and rank up, you will unlock higher and rarer um, variants up to difficulty 10, which should be something on the lines of like, oh, there is a relatively damaged ship being attacked by either a small group or an Idris or something quite threatening. And that mission an should Idris. basically mean that when you are accepting it, you immediately say to your friends, everybody hop in, we're going to go and handle this together. That to us is kind of the key goal is that those upper difficulties start getting people doing these together as a group and making the game feel more multiplayer, so even cool. in these simpler, smaller missions. Dude, these visuals are amazing. We're pretty excited for this update. Uh, it has been a long time coming. Um, we're hoping that it will make this uh, this piece of content considerably more engaging, something that players can um, have a bit more fun with and will want to engage with more. 
um, and it has served us uh, quite ably as a method for ramping up a new uh, designer so that we can start producing more and more content for nice headset, you in bro. the future. Um, we are currently aiming for a release with 317.2. So what did we learn this week? Well, we learned that there will be more non-combat opportunities for aspiring criminals when illegal delivery missions come online. Can't wait for that. That the combat assist service beacons are getting a multi-stage glow up that'll make it easier That's for really players cool to prepare for what's ahead. And that you can call the 8th the 7th, but we, re we all really know what's up. I guess technically we learned that last week. Now, don't forget that First Contact Day and International Bar Citizen Weekend are both upon us. Check out the RSI website for details. And then after that, it's Alien Week. Yeah, we're in the can't stop, won't stop corridor now. For Inside Star Citizen, I'm Jared Huckabee. Here are a few more shots of the currently under construction seventh floor of the Manchester Goods Yard building, future home of CIG UK. And we'll see you all here next week from the 8th, which is actually the ninth stories up. Don't, no, do cut me off. They got jokes. They got jokes. No, that's cool. I can't wait for the uh, the nine tail or the nine whatever. I can't wait for the delivery missions, the bad boy pirate delivery missions. I think that'll be fun. We need to do a, a new arc for a little bit. You know, we've been on the good arc for a long time now. It's time to go do some legal delivery missions. A step up the the pressure a little bit. You know what I mean? Make them a little bit more risky. Getting crime stats and such. As far as the, you know, the the beacons, I, I, I honestly, I'm not, I, I don't, like a huge part of this game is like dogfighting, right? It's fighting in space. But weirdly enough, that's not my thing that I enjoy the most, right? I enjoy delivery missions, trading, that side of Star Citizen versus the combat side. I don't mind FPS, but even the FPS I feel like is a little clunky at the moment. Um... But yeah, I just prefer, I, I, you know, that's just the, the side that I prefer. So I definitely want to do the delivery missions, the uh, the illegal delivery missions. That's going to be a lot of fun. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I can say tomorrow we'll do the Inside Star Citizen, the other one I missed from last week. Uh, I'm just trying to catch up here a little bit, you know what I mean? <laughs> trying to catch up. Uh, but anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. Goodbye!